Welcome back to a, another video. This is a get ready with me video and we're just going to go ahead and start off with hair. So this is Brazilian body wave hair from Eunice hair and I have in a 22, a 20 and a 16 inch frontal that I bleached. I wanted to do a half up half down look with some wand curls so that's what I am doing now. I'm just parting the hair where I want and I'm just going to take a regular hair tie and make the ponytail. So guys, don't even ask me about these ridiculous baby hairs that I did. They look awful. I didn't realize until I finished all of my makeup and I went to go take a selfie and I was like, I cannot do this. This looks terrible. You guys know that I'm not a hairstylist. I just do the best I can. Like I always say, I'm self-taught so I have struggles and I've pretty much gotten everything down like the frontal, plucking it and all that good stuff. But baby hairs is what gives me the hardest time. I cannot do them well to save my life. But after I did my makeup, I went and fixed the baby hairs and made them look more natural than these like crazy swoop things that I have going on here. It is not a good look. But anyway, I'm just going in and wand curling the hair. Nothing crazy, just simple wand curls. So after I finished my curls, I went in and sprayed my hair with the Sebastian Shaper Plus hairspray, which is, in my personal opinion, the best hairspray out there. So now it's time to get into makeup. I did my brows with the NYX Brow Pencil in dark brown, and I'm just setting the concealer that I put on my eyelids 
with a little bit of translucent powder. So now I'm using one of my favorite palettes, the Modern Renaissance palette, and I only use three shades to create this look. The names of the shades that I use will be listed down in the description box, so check that out. I'm just carving out my lid with a bit of concealer before I put on my lid color from the palette. Now I'm done with eyeshadow, I'm using my Schwing eyeliner from the Balm Cosmetics and then I put on my lashes and they're in the Style Bay by B Bella Cosmetics. Now it's time to do my face and as always I'm using my NYX Angel Veil Primer. So I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation and I cannot think of the foundation shade I am off the top of my head right now, but I'll leave that down in the description box. And I also wanted to try something new where I just blended my foundation with just the Beauty Blender and not a brush and I really liked it, how it looked on my face. It was definitely flawless. The brush works just as good as doing this though. I really love this foundation. Sometimes it comes off a little bit orange, especially in person. But at the end, it all comes together after I like highlight and contour and set, all that good stuff. So I'm using my favorite concealer, the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Caramel. To set my highlight, of course, I'm using my Sasha Buttercup powder to set the rest of my face, my Laura Mercier setting powder. So this time around, I was going for a stronger contour, so instead of using my Balm Cosmetics 
contour which is a lot more subtle than this I went with my NYX contour palette You guys already know the blush I'm using and for highlighter I'm using my two highlighters the Maybelline and Ruby Kisses. So the lip combination this time is my chestnut lip liner by MAC, my Tarte lip paint in the shade Birthday Suit, and lastly my NYX lip gloss in the shade Madeline. So that is it for this get ready with me. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you like this look a lot. Make sure you are following me over on Instagram at Christy J and make sure you subscribe to my channel. You like this video and leave a comment down below and I will see you guys in my next one.